When we think about security, we think about firewalls, antivirus, anti-spam, IPS, formerly known as IDS, authentication, encryption. These are typically network and infrastructure security solutions. But hackers also know that you have firewalls. So it's not very convenient to hack the network. But they still want to hack because you've got the nice juicy database that they want to steal. So they've got to find a new way to come in. The new way, ladies and gentlemen, is the software, the application. Hackers today are hacking applications to come into the infrastructure to steal your database. Recently, the worst credit card identity theft attack in history, 130 million credit cards numbers were stolen, was done by a software attack. Software attacks are on the increase. IBM twice yearly publishes a security report called the X-Force report. And typically, the X-Force report have been reporting about network security incidents and is starting to report about application security incidents. These examples serve to highlight that application security is indeed becoming something of great concern. So imagine if you could certify developers and project managers and Q software development QA managers to have this thinking to build security into the application development from the start and throughout the SDLC, the world would be a much safer place. Part of my work at IBM Rational Software is to advocate security in software application development. It was therefore natural that I got the CSSLP credential for two reasons. Number one, it helps me in my work as a validator, as a license to continue to advocate, to champion the need for computer security in the software application development area. And secondly, the CSSLP itself has a rich content base. The CSLP exam actually has talks about seven domains which covers the entire software development life cycle. The reason I say this is because in my advocacy, you don't just test for software security at the end. A lot of people do this today because, again, it's the only way they know how. But the ideal is to push software testing for security or for that matter, secure development further back into the SDLC, in the build stage, in the coding stage. This is the ideal because when you are developing an application halfway and you test and remediate and build security functionality into it, it is easier and cheaper to fix if you find a problem than build an entire application, test it at the end for security to f or get hacked and then have to take the whole thing back, redo, it's a lot of pain. The CSSLP today is vital and urgent for many organizations because first of all, organizations today are highly dependent on software development. Secondly, we need to be increasingly aware of the dangers of flawed software becoming exploitable by hackers and by worms and trojans. Thirdly, above all, the CSSLP advances this awareness of the need for computer security knowledge within the software development life cycle. And also, because of its multi-domain involvement in its um, content, actually trains in preparing for the examination. It actually makes aware and trains the, the developers and the QA managers and even the security managers who are preparing for the CSSLP about what they need to look out for when managing and ensuring security in the software development lifecycle and application development.